Welcome to another video in the overhead cost management playlist. In the video today, I will explain the difference between cost centers and internal orders and the different business cases to use each of them. Both internal orders and the cost centers are cost objects that we use to track which part of the organization is responsible for which cost. And the main difference between cost centers and internal orders is that cost centers are permanent while internal orders are event related. So for example, in our organization, we have different departments, finance, IT, HR, and so on. These departments are permanent and we identify each of them as a cost center so we can report on the expenses related to each department. Now let's assume this organization decided to create a marketing event and the expenses related to this event should be split between the different cost centers of the different departments. If we post the expenses related to the event directly to a cost center, then we will not be able to identify which expenses are related to the event exclusively. Because for example, let's say that in the event there will be food expenses. How can we identify the food expenses related to the event from the other food expenses that are related to the cost center in business as usual. We will not be able to do this if we post everything directly to the cost center. So in this case, we use an internal order. So the internal order is a temporary cost object. It, will, it is created for the event exclusively. And whenever we post any expense related to the event in the financial entry, we will post the expense to the internal order. So for example, the accounting entry will be debit to food expenses, electricity expenses, hotel expenses, and the credit to the bank. And in the expense lines, we have to insert a cost object. Here, we are going to insert the internal order. So at any point of time, if we want to report on the expenses that we spent for the marketing event, we can easily do this. And at the end of the event, we are going to settle the internal order, which means we are going to allocate all of the expenses that is in the internal order to the different cost centers based on any allocation base we want. So we can use fixed percentages. So for example, finance is 50%, IT 20% and so on. Or we can use fixed amounts or we can use a statistical key figures as we used before with the cost centers. So this is very flexible. When we settle the internal order, SAP is going to post a credit from the internal order to the cost center. And this is a very good feature because as you see, when we post a credit, this means we did not touch the original expense lines posted to the internal order. So in the future, even after the order settlement, if we want to report on the expenses that we spent for a historical event, we can easily do this because the lines related to the original expense are already there. SAP never deletes any financial figures. So we can easily compare between historical events and current events, for example, through the reports of the internal order. The second major difference between cost centers and internal orders is that cost centers can only have a plan, while internal orders can have a plan and a budget. The difference between the word plan and the budget in SCEP is very important. A plan is only for guidance. So it tells us that we planned that we want to spend this amount on this cost center, but it does not prevent us from spending more. So for example, if the cost center has a plan for a certain expense of 100,000 and someone tries to post accounting entries after 100,000, so for 110, 120, nothing would stop him. SAP does not prevent anyone from exceeding a plan, while a budget is there for prevention. So if we try to exceed the budget, we can configure SAP to issue a warning message when we get to a certain percentage. So for example, once we get to 90% of the budget, the user will get a warning message that the budget is almost over. And also we can configure SAP to issue an error if anyone tries to exceed the budget. This can happen when someone tries to post an expense to the internal order, or when someone tries to create a purchase order and assign it to the internal order also. And this is a very important feature in internal orders. So in our example for the marketing event, we can use an internal order to prevent anyone from exceeding the budget we have for this event. Another important feature for internal orders is that when we create an internal order, we can choose whether this order is real or statistical. A real internal order owns any expenses that's posted to it, while a statistical internal order 
doesn't own any expenses and is there only for reporting. Let me give you an example. If we post an expense line item today to an internal order that is created as a real order, then this expense is owned by the internal order, which means that at the end of the period or at the end of the event, we have to settle this internal order to different cost objects. So mainly this would be different cost centers. While if we post an expense line to an internal order that is statistical, this means that the expense line is not owned by this internal order. So SAP will ask us to insert another cost object with this internal order because it is only statistical. It is only there for reporting and it doesn't own anything. And it also means that this statistical order will never be settled to any cost center because it doesn't really have any expenses. It is only there as a reporting dimension. So for example, if we post an expense line item to the statistical order, then we have to also add a cost center or any other cost object. Then the expense line is owned by the cost center, but we can report on the internal order. Let me give you a real life example. We have an event that is related only to the accounting department, but we still want to track the expenses related to this event separately from any other expenses that are related to the accounting department cost center. So in this case, we can use a statistical internal order. So whenever we are posting any expense related to this accounting event, we are going to insert the statistical internal order and also we are going to insert the accounting department cost center. And if we want to report on the expenses related to the event, we can generate a report on the level of the statistical internal order and also we can use the budgeting feature of the internal orders here. So no one can exceed the budget assigned to the statistical internal order. And this is the main difference between real internal orders and the statistical internal orders. Real internal orders must be settled at the end of the period or at the end of the event, while the statistical internal orders don't actually own anything. So no settlement is needed. So this option is another difference between cost centers and internal orders. When we create an internal order, we can choose whether it is statistical or real. While when we create a cost center, we don't have this option. A cost center is always real. But there are cases when we post expenses to cost centers and these expenses are posted as statistical posting to the cost center. But we'll talk about this later. For now, I hope you understand the difference between cost center, real internal order, and the statistical internal order. And you know when to use each of them in the different business cases. We use cost centers with permanent objects, such as departments. We use internal orders with events that have multiple cost centers included. And we use statistical orders with events that only have one cost center. You can apply this concept to any business case you find and you will be able to choose which cost object to use. And let me know in the comments if you find any challenging business cases where you cannot decide. It will be a very good practice to all of us. In the next video, I will run a demo on SAP S4HANA to show the difference between cost centers, real internal orders, and the statistical internal orders. So I will show you the difference in the master data, in transaction posting, and also in the reporting. Please note that some of the videos in this playlist can only be seen by the channel members. So if you would like to see the full playlist, then you can check the channel membership program. I will leave you a link here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share the video with your connections, leave me your comments and questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.